Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. I'm going to talk today about some new primer that I just picked up from Badger Airbrush Company. This stuff is called... Now I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get this right because this is a really strange word. I think it's called Steinol Res? Steinol Res. Very unfortunate name for a product because I can't... I'm not sure I'm saying it right. But anyways, uh, I got these three bottles. I got the gray, the black, and the white. I'm sure they probably all work the same. I'm going to try out the gray today. And what I'm mainly concerned with um, is finding out how well this stuff sticks to metal miniatures. I've used primers in the past that when you put them on a metal miniature and then when they're dry, you know, you just kind of rub it or, or put your fingernail on it or whatever and the primer just comes right off again. So I'm really concerned with getting a primer that sticks and stays stuck. Now I've had very good luck actually with this uh, Duplicolor automotive primer, this white. Uh, it goes on really, really nice and thin and sticks really well. But it is an aerosol and it's a probably a lacquer base or some enamel base or something like that. So it's a bit stinky and, you know, smelly and not great for the environment or my environment anyways. Um, whereas this stuff here is a water base. So if this works well, I'll be very happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the airbrush with this. I've got a couple of GHQ miniatures here that I want to put out and I'm going to spray a little bit of that on there. So let me get the airbrush loaded up and then we'll go ahead and spray it. Okay guys, I'm back. I cleaned out the airbrush. I let these dry for a little while and I already picked one up and started playing around with it a little bit and I want to show you guys I hope you can see this on the video I just started kind of just like just rubbing it with my fingers not scratching it or anything like that but just kind of rubbing it real lightly with my fingers just handling it basically because that's what's going to happen in real life when this gets used and if you can see in the video all the sort of high points are rubbing off and I'm seeing bare metal again. So that indicates possibly a problem for me. Um, it may or may not do that after the, the uh, finished color is put on top. I don't know, but this is a little bit of a red flag to me right now that this may not be sticking very well. Now I wanna be very sure to mention that I cleaned these parts before painting them my usual cleaning uh, ritual which is using Windex washing them down real good and then rinsing them good and letting them air dry so the metal should be real clean so the you know the paint should be sticking but uh, as of right now I'm noticing on this one that you know it's all coming off not all coming off I mean the, the very very high points the, the high details on the model if I just handle it um, now, hold on a second. Might have just been something weird in that model because this one, this one does not seem to be doing it nearly as much. And it could be a function of drying time also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these dry even longer, like maybe 15, 20 minutes, and come back and handle this one and see how that works. Could be that I just started playing around with this one way too soon. So let's just uh, shut everything down and let them sit for about 15-20 minutes. I'll go walk the dogs and come back and we'll take this last one and play around with it and see what happens. All right guys, well I'm back now. Um, went out and walked the dogs for a few minutes and I'm going to do another test and see. I'm just going to rub the model with my hands, just basically handling it, you know, kind of roughly. And I'm getting the same result. The uh, paint is coming off of the very, very high points. Whoops, dropped it. That's not helping. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paint this with the green color and just see if it still covers well or not. Let's try it on here. Actually, now on the turret, I'm not getting the same, well, I'm getting a little bit, but not as much. So I'm rubbing pretty hard and I'm trying, I'm actually trying to rub the paint off, um, something you probably wouldn't do in real life. 
so maybe it's okay. Let me shoot some green on it and then I'll let that dry. We'll see what it looks like and then I'll handle it a little more and see how it works. Okay, well the parts have been uh, primered and painted, and I think they are just fine actually. Let me get one off of here and hold it up for you guys to see. This is the uh, GHQ model of the CV9105, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of these for my goofy little imaginary nation of Malakistan. They're going to have a whole bunch of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do them up with this primer and then paint them with this green and uh, they'll be fine. Now that, now that the primer has dried properly and I've painted them with the green paint and it has dried properly, I can handle them very roughly and the paint is not coming off. So I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the primer is just fine for what I intend to use it for and I'm going to go ahead and spray a whole bunch of them with it and uh, paint them up and do the camouflage on them and everything. So there is the uh, Badger St Steinol Res Steinol Res Primer in gray. Seems like a good primer so I would give it a try. Thanks a lot for watching.